Mm. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is. It's your boy Gerard Street Gavi, and you're now tuned in to What's the Motivation, you dig? Gerard Street Garvey. Um, I used to go by the name of Garvey the Chosen One. I'm from Uptown, Washington, D.C. Uh, I can go back to like, I think, sixth grade. My, my friend of mine, a real close friend of mine, he, uh, he took his, his brother's tape out of his house. It was an easy e tape. And I couldn't believe what, the, what I was hearing, man. So <laughs> uh, I think it was the Easy Does It or something, man. When I heard them lyrics, man. I just was, I was in love, first sight. Um, the difference between 2005 and now is basically, it's, it's, it's more light on the scene right now. I mean, back then when I first started rapping, it wasn't even cool, like, the city was more so go-go. So just just getting into it and, and doing it back then, it was, it was like rare. Like now there's not a bunch of youngers, they in it. Uh, I see it's a lot of togetherness now. So, I mean, I see growth from 2005 to now. How I maintain my brand from the old DMV to the new DMV is basically staying consistent throughout the whole, through every era. Uh, you gotta be consistent as far as marketing is concerned anyway. Even when I wasn't doing music, I started doing clothes and that was a way to keep my brand growing within the DMV. Yeah, basically it was my clothing line that started, you know, me seeing that it was another way other than music that I could push my brand. What is grind season? Um, grind season is a way of life. If you look at it, it's four seasons in a year. Summer, spring, winter, fall. And we grind through them all. Um, it mean a lot to, to me, it's, a, it's motivation. It's everyday life. It's, you know, it's something to live for. Grind season represents, I don't care whether you uh, you go to work, uh, whether you go to the gym to work out, you taking care of your kids, whatever you're doing in the everyday life, grinding represents grind season. So that's where grind season comes from. And well, like I said, um, clothing was definitely another outlet for me to, uh, to bring in revenue for the company. And, um, and then I started doing radio and stuff like that. So, you know, basically them two of my ways of making money to fund my business. So, yeah. Where did I come up with the name for Gavi the Chosen One? Well, basically, uh, I got locked up. Um, I came home in 2004. And I already had it in my mind that I wanted to drop a CD called The Chosen One. It never really was supposed to be my name. So uh, I, put the, I put the project out and it started doing its rounds. And all of a sudden, it was a flyer floating around with my name on it. Uh, with Slim Thug, back when Slim Thug was on fire in the backyard. And then the flyer said, God be the chosen one. Now, you know, I was confused because first of all, I haven't even talked to nobody about being on the show. And then, second, I'm saying the chosen one, so it was in my mind, I was like, nah, they can't be talking about me. <laughs> and then I eventually linked up with the promoter and we figured it out and God be the chosen one stuck, people started calling me that. 